he he did something with our staff to have the the ring show up in some special place relative to the the wine or the food. I forget how they did it, and uh, and then they celebrated at the winery. And that's and awesome. Great. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, we are live. <laughs> so excellent. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am so excited to have Bob Manley here from Hermit Woods Winery in Meredith. And he's, we've asked him here today, if you haven't tuned in yet to our other lives, this is live with the locals. So we are interviewing with local business owners right now to hear directly from them about the effects COVID-19 and these strange times have had on their business. Um, and Bob's going to share with us shortly, you know, what they've done to, you know, change things around to still provide for their client, for their customers. Um, so I'm really excited to hear from him, but first Bob, I want to say hello. <laughs> Thanks hi, for hi. Hello everyone. And Bob, uh, let's first introduce the business. Um, if anyone's still, you know, tuning in and haven't heard of Hermit Woods, let us know a little bit more about the business when you got started and, and how it's evolved and what it is today. Sure. Um, I, I, uh, I founded Hermit Woods Winery with my two partners, Ken Hardcastle and Chuck Lawrence. Um, the three of us come from very diverse backgrounds. I actually came from advertising and marketing, and, uh, and I was also doing practicing photography. Uh, Ken is a geologist, and Chuck is an airline pilot. So uh, the last three people on the planet you'd probably expect to uh, open a winery. But uh, that is what we did. In 2010, we began the process, and we opened to the public in June of 2000. 11. Uh, we operated the winery out of my house for the first three years of its operation. Uh, we, we turned my master bedroom into a, into a wine tasting room and my wine uh, and my cellar into a wine cellar where we, we, we made the wine. And we started out with about 350 cases of wine for our first year. And after our, our third year of operating out of my house, we were making over a thousand cases of wine annually. Uh, wow. We were uh, bursting at the seams, you might say. And uh, so this sort of justified our growing the business. And that's when we decided to purchase a building on Main Street in downtown Meredith, probably one of the best decisions we could have ever made. It's a great town. And uh, we remodeled that building and moved in in 2014. And we've been growing the business there ever since. Um, we, we started out uh, just in, in Meredith, we started out simply as a winery where you could come in and, and do wine tastings and purchase wine and, and wine related gifts. And we also offered tours. But in 2017, we added a deli. So now you can come in and enjoy some food with your wine. And uh, we also support all the local craft breweries and uh, carry nothing but New Hampshire brewed beer to go with your food if you're not interested in having wine. Um, and and uh, we have a really exciting uh, project in the works that's uh, that's coming soon. And uh, I'm gonna hold off on talking about that maybe till a little bit toward the end of this presentation, kind of let you uh, uh, kind of hold it out there as a, as a yeah. uh, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's a, a little bit about us. We, we have, uh, I'll tell you just uh, quickly, our wines are available in New Hampshire State liquor stores throughout New Hampshire. We're also in a number, a number of uh, smaller wine outlets that sell our wine around the state. And we sell our wine direct to consumer in 38 states around the country. So you can go on our website and order wine online. Uh, yeah. so, uh, so, you, so you can still come in and do a tasting, take a tour. Um, unfortunately, not now. So. <laughs> right. And we'll get into that too, because I know things have changed for you in the business. And I mean, all the things you just mentioned that you do, you've continuously, you know, re basically heard what the, you know, the customer is looking for and added that to your space. And at the end of this video, we'll share the big, you know, a little bit of a spoiler that you have coming as well to the site there in Meredith. And I know I'm a, uh, a Hermit Woods mem wine member. And there's lots of great benefits to that as well. So I would encourage people to check out what that means and what it entails. Um, Cause I just find it really great, especially being a local when I can come visit you, <laughs> taking advantage of you know those benefits there at the shop, whether it's coming in to get a gift, doing a tasting, um, you know, taking a tour with locals visiting. So really great and I encourage everyone to take a look um, at and visit when you can, but also you can see a lot of this online. 
But to segue into how things have changed, we obviously can't visit you. <laughs> we can't visit you there, but you're doing something to bring you know, everyone to you in a virtual way. Um, so I, we talked just before this, you can go to your Facebook, not Facebook, your website and go to your events page. So what are they gonna find when they go to your website to the events page now, since maybe they're not in person, but they're virtual events, what do those look like? Um, actually, if you don't mind, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer, kind of answer the yeah. question in reverse, uh, uh, talk right. a little bit about how things change. So obviously, as with a lot of us here in this country, a, a lot changed around the mid middle of March. And uh, on March 17th, we, we made the difficult decision to close our winery. And uh, that did not mean that we weren't in business anymore. That just meant that we couldn't conduct business in our tasting room. So we immediately shifted gears and started thinking about how can we stay in touch with you, our customers and our friends and family that, that have been, uh, been visiting us for the last 10 years and, uh, and keep our business afloat during this, this difficult time. So we've done a number of things to, to help do that. Um, the, the first and probably most important thing is we're still offering wine for sale as curbside pickup. And to make that a little easier on everybody during these difficult times, um, our, our curbside pickups are 20% off the, the price of our wine. And if you're a club member like Brie, um, we are offering 30% off our wine uh, if you pick it up at the curb. So uh, all you need to do is call our, our number, uh, and uh, call our main main number, leave a message as to what you'd like to order and when you'd like to pick it up. And we will call you right back and make that arrangement with you. So we also are offering free shipping for six or more bottles. So you can order our wine all over the country and uh, you don't have to pay to have it shipped there. So another, another nice advantage to help us continue to sell wine during this difficult time. And, uh, and then what Bree was referring to is we wanted to stay personally in touch with you. So uh, we've we've been using tools like Zoom and Facebook Live to to uh, tell our story and to offer wine tastings and uh, other unique experiences that we can do virtually, so that uh, you those who are interested can can still stay in touch with us, can learn about wine, can learn about our wine and wine in general and wine appreciation. Um, we also have some fun things scheduled. If you just go to hermitwoods.com and click on our events page, you'll see all of the scheduled events coming up over the next couple of weeks. Uh, those include wine tastings. Uh, we're going to do some interviews with some, some popular wine figures in the Northeast. Uh, Carlo DeVito is going to be coming on with us in the, actually tomorrow. Really excited. If you, if you don't know Carlo, you should. He's a, he's a really fascinating guy. Um, we're also going to be doing, Ken and I and Chuck will be joining for sort of a little wine chat on Saturday afternoon, and we're gonna invite everybody to come on with us and find out a little bit about us. Uh, sort of meet the hermits is what we're calling it. And uh, we're gonna do, some, <laughs> thanks. We're gonna do some more tastings. We're gonna do, uh, uh, we're actually gonna uh, do an interview with Mark LeClaire. He's the owner of Seven Birches Winery in Lincoln, New Hampshire. Mark started his business around the same time as, time as us. So we're, uh, we're excited to, to uh, have a little little chat with Mark. And if you're interested to learn about Seven Birches, if you haven't been there, come on, come on to that tasting and, and uh, or that, that video and you can learn about, about what they're doing. So lots of interesting things. We're going to try and continue to be creative with it and, and uh, possibly come up with some other ways in which we can interact with you. One thing we're going to do, uh, we haven't planned it yet, but uh, we're going to do a Zoom for all of our club members. It should be interesting. We have about 600 club members right now. So uh, I don't know if Zoom can handle that many, but uh, probably not that many are going to show up, so. but we are going to invite any club member that wants to come on to a Zoom conversation with us and, uh, and, and have some wine and, and talk, about, talk about wine and, and wine related things. So. so lots of things to keep ourselves going, keep ourselves busy. I actually think of this, uh, there's a couple things uh, that I think about. The, the, uh, this, we're going to come out of this stronger because uh, we're developing new skills. We're coming up with new ways to talk to our audience. So there's some good news in this, in all of this bad news. And I think that's that we, we are going to have a better relationship with you, our customers, and we're going to have better skills. And so there's, there's some positives to come out of this. And, uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's what we have to do. It's the it's it's the it, we're all facing this this very difficult time and so we're 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 making the best of it and trying to be positive. 
Yeah, you certainly are making the best of it. I love what you've you know, created. And for all these ways for people to get in touch, you have all of these options. This is all on Facebook, all these events, correct? They'll be able to yes. tune in on Facebook Live. Yes. We do have a we do have an Instagram account and and I've started actually adding some some I did a, a wine appreciation class on Instagram, and okay. uh, and we're looking to do to include our Instagram audience as well. That's that's uh, some of the groups some of the folks are in the same Facebook and Instagram, but I find there are some folks who just like to use Instagram, and so we want to stay in yeah. touch with them as well. So Absolutely. we'll be doing some of that. Yeah. So I did tag you um, the business page on this post as well. I'm going to add in the link to your events page. So okay. for anyone who's interested and want to keep up to date on what is happening, what these virtual events look like, the tastings, the interviews, you know, the meet and greets, there will be a link in this post once we're done. So you can tune in and I encourage everyone, the way we're really going to come out of this, as you had mentioned, Bob, the best is learning from it developing these new skills while also supporting each other. So encourage everyone to head over to the Facebook page after this interview, like Hermit Woods page, then go to their website, visit them there. If you feel so inclined to write a review, that's even another step to really help local businesses right now um, grow and, you know, stay, you know, stay alive and, and spread the word is really what the goal of this interview is too. Um, so definitely definitely share this and let people know what's going on. You've really thought of everything, Bob, <laughs> as oh, far well, as I can I, see. <laughs> I don't think of everything. I, I don't think I've thought of everything, but um, but we're working on thinking of everything. Yeah. So we, if we haven't, we will get there eventually. Yeah, I, I, I want to just say, <laughs> I also want to say, uh, I, I really want to thank you and your team. Um, you, you. You've been an inspiration to me in a lot of ways. Uh, you introduced yourself to us many years ago when you first, first got going. And, and uh, I remember you held, a, uh, you held a class at our winery. And mm -hmm. I, I attended that class from afar, from behind the bar. And I, uh, <laughs> I was inspired to, by all of the exciting and creative ways in which you're, you know, even not in this crisis, just in general, you're sort of reshaping the, the, the world of real estate in unique ways, uh, using the new technology that's out there and, and uh, creatively uh, uh, presenting properties and and what's even better is you're not just selling homes you're 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 selling our community you're selling a, a lifestyle and and providing an opportunity for people to not only get a new home in this wonderful community but stay you know learn about it stay connected like you're doing right here right now and you've done with all of the other businesses that you've been supporting around the area so i can't thank you enough you've been an inspiration and i i uh, i continue to learn from you every day so uh, i appreciate you. that very very much and i'm i'm very very happy to help it's what we do and you know if our community isn't thriving then who would want to live here so it has to be the whole package and you know we really believe in that and believe that all of our success is, you know, how we're all going to be coming out of this the strongest. So I appreciate that. Cheers Paul. to that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to come to my curbside pickup shortly too. I find people are drinking more during these times as well. So <laughs> I might be a little bit. <laughs> I don't usually have a glass of wine for lunch, but uh, I thought this would be the best occasion. Uh, just a cool, like. plug. Uh, Petite yes. Blue Reserve, thought I'd let you know. So it's very, Perfect. very nice. Perfect. Now that we're at the end here, let's hear the spoiler. What do we have in store at Hermit Woods when we come out of this? What what, what are we going to be looking towards? Oh, it's so exciting. Um, I have to say another, another uh, uh, upside to our closing our winery, uh, if, there's, if there's any upside, um, <laughs> we are under construction and uh, as a result of having to close the winery, our construction has been able to, to move forward at a much greater clip. And, uh, and actually, having been in the winery while the construction is going on, I can't even imagine how we would have been open <laughs> during this time. Um, so we're under construction. We are remodeling our third floor. And if you see in the picture where the barrels are behind my head, that is actually the third floor of our building. It's the same footprint as the whole building. There's 1,800 square feet up there. And we're excited to be creating a live music event 
uh, event space. Um, we're going to be creating a listening room. And we partnered with John Lorenz, who's a local local musician who's uh, involved with New Hampshire. He created New Hampshire Jazz. And uh, he's, he's helped found uh, Pittman's Freight Room. He, uh, he helped find, uh, found uh, the Purple Pit and a very talented gentleman who's, who's connected widely in the music world. And so we're gonna be bringing musical talent from all over New England and all over the world, hopefully, um, to, to play in a listening room environment. And if you're not familiar with what a listening room is, it's a, it's a place where you go to appreciate the artists. Um, it's not like a typical classic place where you go in a bar and there's live music in the background. Um, the music is in the foreground and the audience is there to appreciate it and, uh, and to, to be quiet during the performances and, uh, and let the musicians really shine. And uh, musicians love to play those types of venues. And so we're hoping to get some really exciting musicians. And um, we're going to be doing jazz and folk and world music and classical and other genres as well. Um, but it's a small, intimate venue. We'll have seating for maybe uh, 60 or 70 people during our shows. And uh, there will be serving food and, of course, our wine and, uh, and beer. And so we're really excited. In It's probably going to be sometime uh, later in the summer, in the fall, when we're able to get open because of the, the current crisis. But we're hoping the work is done by summer and we'll be able to shape the new, the new facility and turn it into what it's gonna be. And in addition, it's going to be an event space that people can rent. If you have a party, you wanna throw a party, you can use this space. Um, and we're also gonna use it as overflow. So I know many of you have come into the winery when all of our tables at the deli have been full. It's not hard, there's only four. So <laughs> um, now we'll have tables upstairs. So if you come into the winery and we're full downstairs, you'll be able to have food upstairs and it's gonna be a light, bright, uh, really enticing space. So if you wanna learn about it, you can go to the event page and scroll to the bottom of the listing of events and you'll see some events that have, that have already been recorded. And one of them is a story about our space with some pictures. I gave a tour of the workspace and some pictures of what it's going to look like. So if you go to our event space and scroll to the bottom, you can see a tour of our new space if you want to see what, what's right. happening. So very exciting. Sounds, sounds beautiful. It looks beautiful. I'll include a link to that too so people can tour that. But in, impressive and continue to you know evolve and change. So can't wait till the end of summer and early fall to see that space. <laughs> Me too. That's awesome. Well, thank, thank you so much, Bob, for tuning in today and sharing with us all, you know, everything that's going on and encourage everyone to support locally. It's it's what we can do right now. And Bob has really taken the time with his partners to put in place, you know, how you can still you know, not only become a wine connoisseur, um, but learn even more about their product and offering a really special discount for and making it easy not only locally to pick it up, but to have it shipped to you um, at a great, great price during these times. So thank you very much. Thank you, really appreciate you having me on. Yeah, of course. So everyone have a great rest of your week. Thank you for tuning in and uh, definitely check out the caption and, and follow Hermit Woods. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Take care. Take care.